Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Bye. Uh, heals 11 times 2, eat it twice. Heals 22, it's my own recipe. If I were to buy the bicycle, it would take two turns and it would cost $30 in total. I would take the cinnamon bun. Uh, talk. Say hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. Can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillbees has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Redders, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. What did they appear at thin air? The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. I did not take monster history, sorry. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins there back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the ends of the caverns. Wait, why did you do that to begin with? Why would you stay one? Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up a camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can naps the bloke, that's how. Life is the same as usual. A little catastrophic, but we all know deep down that freedom's coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Yo, that's a fucking fact. Bye now. Come again sometime. So wait a minute. They moved out of the ruins, but... Toriel still lives there, so... Uh, there are still monsters in the ruins. So did they just never leave? Toriel has a basement that goes to the exit. So that means she's purposely leaving the door locked. Right? Or am I messing that up? Hello. What's this? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's the maximum HP? Welcome to Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night's 80. Fucking hell. Fine. I don't think I've ever stayed at a hotel where this was the problem. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible, because you're only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Not even two minutes, more like twenty- Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're gonna stay overnight. Sure. What's this? Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try to under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. What do you mean? What the hell? Shit, that hurts to look at. What? What's this? Hold up, hold up. I'll go. I'm going back. I'm going back. This is not six yards. That lady over there. Sometimes something about her disturbs me. She walking a rat. This is my little cinnamon just the cutest. Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Can I talk to the bun 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 bun? Awful teens tormented to the lo local monster by gift shot. So we started giving that monster presents to make him feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. So that's where your Christmas came from? I 
answer to various locals. Yo! Yo, kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. That is dumb logic. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, the skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Fish lady? What the hell? You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Cause that big guy will jump in your lap and give you lots of love and attention. For centuries, but we never get any respect. Which those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, Attach a lease to me and take me for a walk, please. That's kinky. What is that? Lester, what are you doing? It's playing poker against itself. How are you losing against yourself? I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally gonna make out. And now I got my wish. Cause I know that I'm a gay fish. Gay fish. <laughs> Kanye West gay fish. Play that right now. I dare you. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard and the elite military group led by Undine? Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everyone who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Who are you? Hello, Red. Robes said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay, then. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I moved here. So I heard they're gonna start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip and slip onto their butts. Wait, what? Oh, 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 he meant slip on the eye. Oh, I thought something else completely. Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way to your whole body. Disgusting. What the fuck do monsters do then? I'd love to try it. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! Bought new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises, dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. Do monsters need sunlight? I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know that the underground has problems. But we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be remor morose about it? Here. Let's pay monsters and humans. Wait, what? The rocks can talk? You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patron was award B. Ah. Do you get do you get off to just that? Hello? Okay. What are you doing? Why did I can't talk to you. Why are you throwing ice into a river? You all are gonna drown. I can read so. Library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Wait, what? Oh shit, it is. Like. Like Barbie? Like Barbie. And look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving the junior jumble. <laughs> Fuck off. 
I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it in with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when we were, they ran out of assignments. Same. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck us with the desire to kill, well, let's end the chapter there. Here I am. Wait, wait so let me get this straight. If you if you fight a monster off guard, it's, you're gonna hit it. You're gonna kill it in one hit, maybe. Is that what it means? Here I am writing this book. Person comes in, picks up the book, they start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Oh, she was talking to me. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. You guys have literally all types of different shapes. Why isn't there just like one some macho beefy monster that just comes in and then kills everyone? But they'll never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Bullet pattern birthday. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it onto the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page of them yet? I kind of suck at writing this. Monsters turn to dust when they die? Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh colds, damp swamplands, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Old Home and New Home. Love, hope, compassion is what people say monstrous souls are made up of. The absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Ouch, fucking hell. I mean, it's true. You look at all the world wars we've had. What's this? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. So this is Sans from Papyrus' house? Wait, why does Papyrus have the empty one in Sans? I don't want to know. Is that everything? Oh well. What the? That guy's ice is still there. Hey, Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like... The joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration of another's pu puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings... They must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very gay. You cocky bastard. I don't ever wonder what friends, what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. What? Why? You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fill my lifelong dream. Power. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. Are those the peas in Papyrus? The newest member of the Royal Guard! Oh shit. Wait. 30 out of 20 HP. 
Oh my god, that's what the rabbit said! If you sleep, you... Ah, so I get extra, extra HP for the rest of the game? Uh, Chuck. He's definitely stronger than, stronger than the rest of them. 20 attack, 20 defense. He likes to say, Nyeh heh heh. Is that it? Flirt. What? Fl flirting? So you finally revealed your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti. I have zero redeeming qualities. I, I actually can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're me all my stuff. Fuck off. Guess it means I have to go on a date with you? L let's date later, after I capture you. Pirates is still thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! L let's date later. That wasn't insult you. How selfless. You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Am I supposed to sp Papyrus dabs bone clone behind- You don't have ears. Am I supposed to spare you like Torio? So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Wait, don't move. Wow, bro, it's so hard. Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? What happened? You're blue now. That's my attack. There's a new soul mode? Yo! Turn this shit up. His, so his theme just got louder. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. Wait, how am I supposed to... Oh, I have to press up. Pyrus dabs NTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ears. Try holding the up button to jump. So like this? What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. You know, I kind of like this. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. Oh fuck. Ow. I can almost taste my future popularity. Fuck off. Blue. Oh shit. Oh, you're, so you're a ninja now. Papyrus, head of the royal guard. Oh shit. Papyrus, unparalleled spaghettor. I can't dodge some of those. Undying will be really... Oh, it's undying. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Okay, mini jumps. My brother will... Well, he won't change very much. Hey, he's chasing his dreams. I respect that. I don't want to die, but I respect that. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Papyrus is rattling his bones. You ate the cinnamon bunny. Your HP was maxed out. Will well, anyone like me as sincerely as you? I've had 30 HP yet. Oh my god, they're moving. 
I had 30 HP at the beginning of the fight, and I've lost all of it. Someone like you is really rare. Yes, yes I am. Oh, shit. And dating might be kind of hard. Yeah, you're right. You don't have the shlong to... <laughs> I'm gonna shut up now. After you're captured and sent away. Fuck. Ugh! Who cares? Give up! I should've healed. Bunny. Your HP was maxed out. Give up or face my special attack. Yeah, there soon I'll use my special attack. Not too long and I'll use that special- just use it already. Fucking hell. This is your last chance for my special attack. Okay, mini jumps. He said he's gonna use it now. You're super stiffy. Your HP was maxed out. Behold, my special attack. The dog? What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Is that the end of the fight? Oh well. I'll just use a really cool normal attack. The pirates is getting regular, ready for a regular attack. For fuck's sake. Here's an absolutely normal attack. Shit. Mini jumps. High jump. Fuck. High. Low. High. High. Dog's attack. Wait, cool dude. Explanation point. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I go to? What the fuck? What was that? Can't beat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, I'd like to, to grant you pity. I'll spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. That book from before said if you attack a monster when they don't want to. F nah, I don't want to kill this guy. The ice is still. You hoo hoo! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undying is going to be so disappointed in me. I'll never join the royal guard. And my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. A oh, loser. I'm not gonna say that. Come on, let's be friends, bro. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the first. <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I will grant you permission to the surface. Continue forward till you reach the end of this cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through, but nothing can... Not, uh, wait, then how am I supposed to leave? Oh, except someone with... Oh, okay, okay. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh. Almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, 
you will have to pass through the king's castle. So just like Toriel, you have to go through someone else's domain. The king of all monsters. He is, well, a huge puffy pushover. Everyone loves that guy. I am certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamo. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier. I highly doubt that's how it's going to play out. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> how did... Okay then. <laughs> There you are. Wait, <laughs> he's fine. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I'd like to spend a lot of time. Wait. I thought we were gonna go to Grillby's. <laughs> you brought us back to your- My house. <laughs> What's going on up there? What the- Ooh! It's my favorite game show! It says, stay tuned for a new- MTT. What? It's usually better than this! It's just a bad episode. <laughs> Don't judge me. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> that, that would be me in real life. Not the sock collection, by the way. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. You're a special type of skeleton, Paris. <laughs> That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. Sugary, non-egg... You mean sugar? Aha! Interested in my food museum. <laughs> Please, Percy. I'm not pronouncing that. My culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Why are you supposed to wash dishes? Is that the same dog from before? What? Catch that meddling canine! Fuck. Curses! <laughs> Sans! Stop plaguing my life with incidental music! So that's Sans's room, okay? You touch the couch, it makes a j jangling noise. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Is that supposed to be my money for fighting you? What do I even have? 152. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Why not? Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. Is that a quantum physics? Is this a joke about quantum physics? I've never taken it. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. So if that's Sansa Romagifson, that's yours. A classic image. 
It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door's locked. Come on, Sans. Let me in. That's my room. If you finish looking around, you can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Oh, Papyrus, you cheeky bastard. I'm in. Yo! This is cool. I wish my room was as detailed as this. Hey, those were all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it only happened yesterday. You know, basically just... <laughs> you like, like, what, five minutes ago? The internet. I'm quite... Yes, yes, you fucking are, apparently. I searched up Papyrus fan art in between the episode. Fucking hell. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit fall. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad pawns in a goofy. Oh my god. The computer internet browser is open to a social media site. Twitter? That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorite. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undying founded at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons! I mean, you're not completely- Yeah! Ah, uh, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! What else young girl used to want a race car bed? If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, you don't have <laughs> Son of my sick. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. Okay. What about this? There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Look inside the closet. Clothes are hung neatly inside. Do the characters in this game always wear the same clothes, or... Eh, who knows. So, um... If you've seen everything, do you want to start the... We haven't started the date yet? Sure. Okay, dating start. Wait, wait, wait! Is this a fight? Here we are, on our date! I've actually never done this thing before. But don't worry! You can't spell prepared without several numbers. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key for dating hub. Wowee! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human! I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. What would happen if I said no? R really? Wowee! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothes right now! Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing- <laughs> Wait, what would happen if I weren't wearing- No! Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? I feel you- what? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. No, no Your dating power! So I have to fill that bar. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. 
You see, I too can wear clothing. Do not wear. In fact, I've always weared my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case someone happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Nice swag tire. Yeah, what do you think of my, of my secret style? Let's see, shorts, sneakers, still wearing gloves, tank top. Are those basketballs on the side of your... and a cap? I like it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid! Oh, I, my, my data power went down. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Human souls are stronger than monster souls. But the souls of my shoes <laughs> are about the same. We all know. We all know. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist. The shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Extra tip. All clothing articles can be... <laughs> Wait, it originally just said dude? I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My ha I clicked on your face. My hat. My hat! Yeah! <laughs> Did you? Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. You know what it is? Uh, no. Yeah, that's right. You have no idea. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any plain old spaghetti. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti. Finally aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. By extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Oh! Oh, no! Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. After the first date? It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus... I, um, boy, is it hot in here? Was it just me? Oh shoot, human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the same way you like me. Oh, wow, you're the one dumping me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Wait, because I flirt. The fight didn't start till I clicked spare, so what would have happened if I didn't? Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to mash your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your tense to your intense love with me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. My guy, you are overanalyzing everything. <laughs> How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like all of this never happened. After all, you are very great. Not as great as you. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Uh, because I don't even have lips. <laughs> and hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. 
Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me at any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. So you see gone. Oh, I can still call Torius as well. No one picked up. Aww. Wow! It only took you four seconds to call me. You must be very desperate for my <laughs> Well, do not fear. It's Papyrus's hot full helpline. Just describe your location and I will describe some hot tips. So, where are you? You're still in my room. Have you heard of something called a door? <laughs> Wait, don't worry. I'll draw a diagram for you. Fuck's sake. It's not in the house anymore. Wait, is Sansa's room open now? I really like the scene. Man, it's not anywhere. Oh well. Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Neat, huh? Neat. <laughs> Thanks! I just went on a date with your brother. See, he was interesting. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. We're going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Oh, is this your date? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. What's that door behind you? Over here. I know a shortcut. What's any other? That shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? <laughs> nah. I haven't had breakfast in at least an hour, half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Did you put a whoosh? Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirds put whoopee cushions in the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Hey, give me a burg. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Real be. We'll have a double order of burg. Wait, are you combing your... So, what do you think of my brother? <laughs> He's very great. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Sure. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Oops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Then why'd you order two? And he's scratching his ass, really. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the royal guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the royal guard and he begged her to be in it. Undying, right? Of course, she shut the door on him because it was me. <laughs> but the next day, she woke up and still saw him still sitting waiting. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. What the... 
Have you ever heard of a talking flower? He means flowery. Yeah. So you know all about it. Oh, the echo flowers. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers, Ah, oh, so flowery tells papyrus things. Flowery, flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. That's good pacing for a story. Like, a little bit of story here, then there was a whole Snowden comedy act, and then story again. Well, that was my long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? Just 10,000. Fuck it. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. How the hell do you rack something up that's 10,000? By the way, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. <laughs> Can I have a burger? Tense is a sentry. Don't let his title make you think he does anything. Everyone knows he sits around in the forest reading car magazines. Why car magazines? Can't go behind the sentry. Let's hang out again sometime. Sure. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's episode of Undertale. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Well, this has been Juan. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.